Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, and welcome to One Minute Tennis Coach. Today I want to talk to you about movement and balance, and about a way of moving that Novak Djokovic calls his secret weapon. Um, now, Djokovic worked with Kirsten Gritsch, uh, a fitness trainer, for many years. They, they split over about two years ago. And Kirsten explained about this in one of his articles. The article was in German, so it may have missed some of the English speakers uh, in the tennis community. And what Novak concentrates on doing over and over again is a very simple concept, and that is keeping the body between the legs. If I move to the ball and keep my body between the legs, then always I will have balance through the stroke. As soon as you allow your body to go outside of the span of the legs, then when I play the stroke, I will be inherently out of balance and I'll have to make a compensating step to avoid falling over. This applies to forehands, backhands, every kind of situation. So quite simply, if you have a wide athletic base and then ensure that as you're playing the stroke, that the body stays between the span of the legs, then you are always in balance through the stroke. Novak takes it to great extremes, and so sometimes you see him almost collapsing after the stroke because he's tried so hard to keep the body in balance in between the legs uh, when he actually makes the stroke. Now, a great way of acquiring the feel for this in your game is to have somebody feed to you or work on a ball machine and quite simply hit the stroke without moving your feet. Now, I want to be clear with this. Moving your feet when hitting the ball is not a bad thing at all. The players will often jump through the stroke and make very athletic movements for more power. However, if I make the stroke and have to make a step after making the stroke to avoid falling over, then I was out of balance. If I can make the stroke and do not need to move my legs, then I am in balance. You can swivel and rotate and pivot, but you shouldn't have to make a step. So if you try to make sure that you have a wide, stable athletic base and then make the strokes and do not have to move your feet, then you're in balance. And if you combine keeping your body between your legs with not having to move the feet after the stroke until you make recovery steps, then you'll find that you hit cleaner, more consistently and more powerfully. Try Jokovic's power pyramid and apply it to your game or your player's game. It's a, it's a simple piece of advice, but it really is effective. Let us know in the comments section how it works for you or your players. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe the channel, please. And also, if you have a look at our website, uh, oneminutetennis.com, uh, we've got a unique service there where we do online one-to-one -one lessons, biomechanical breakdowns of the player's game, and a very unusual video analysis. Uh, it's, an, it's a great service and it really works. Thanks for watching and see you next time.